today's video lesson, I'll be discussing on how to determine the percentage composition of a particular element in a given compound. Now, you can see the formula written on the board. The formula says percentage composition equals the atomic mass of the element in the compound, dividing the formula weight of the compound times 100. Now, it should be noted that the formula weight of a compound is same as the molar mass of that compound. Now, this is the question written on the board, and the question says, determine the percentage of potassium, chlorine, and oxygen in KClO3, giving the atomic masses of the elements to be for potassium is 39, for oxygen is 16, and for chlorine is 35.5. Now, let's determine the percentage composition of each element in this compound. KClO3. First, we must calculate the formula weight of the compound. Now, what is the formula weight of this compound? Formula weight of KClO3. Now, KClO3 contains three elements. What are they? Potassium, chlorine and oxygen. We have one atom of potassium, one atom of chlorine, and three atoms of oxygen forming a molecule of oxygen. So, the formula weight becomes, we were keeping the atomic masses of each element. Now, what is the atomic mass of potassium? 39 plus the atomic mass of chlorine, 35.5, plus the atomic mass of oxygen, 16. Since we have three atoms of oxygen, it becomes 16 times 3, making the formula weight of the compound KClO3 to be 122.5 grams per mole. This is the formula weight of KClO3, 1 to 2.5 grams per mole. Now, we've successfully determined the formula weight of the compound. Now, we can now solve the percentage composition of each element of this compound. Now, let's go ahead and determine the percent composition of each element of this compound. Now, the formula weight is already, which is same as the molar mass. We determined the value to be 1 to 2.5 grams per mole. Now, let's get the percent composition of each element, each element of this compound, KClO3. Now, percent composition of potassium, potassium, okay, becomes... We already know that the formula simply the atomic mass of the element in the compound. Now, what is the atomic mass of potassium? It is given to be 39. And what is the formula weight? Okay, dividing the formula weight of the compound. The compound is simply KClO3, and the formula weight was determined to be 122.5 times 100. So, the percent composition of potassium becomes 31.8%. 31.8%. Now, let's determine the percentage composition of chlorine in the compound. So, percent composition of chlorine in the compound becomes the atomic mass of chlorine is given to be 35%. Point five, dividing the formula weight of the compound, 122.5 times 100 
when we hit our calculator, we get 29.0%. Now, let's determine the percent composition of oxygen in this compound. So, percent composition of oxygen. Now, we are to write the way oxygen is in the compound. You can see it is simply O3. That means oxygen contains three atoms. So we say ox oxygen, oxygen, percent composition of O3 because we have three atoms of oxygen in the compound. So the atomic mass of the element, which is oxygen, we know already is 16. But we have three atoms, so it basically becomes 16 times 3 over the formula with 1, 2, 3. Times 100. Now, 16 times 3 is 48 over 122.5 times 100. So, when we hit our calculator, the value we get for the percentage composition of oxygen in KClO3 is 39.2%. So these are the percent composition of the elements that makes up KClO3. Now, to know if your answers are correct, you sum up the percentage composition of each element making up the compound if, if it will give you 100%. So let's add up these values. Let's see if we'll get 100%. So, Percentage composition of potassium plus percentage composition of um, chlorine plus percentage composition of oxygen O3 is equal to we say 31.8% plus 29.0% um, plus 39.2%. So when you press your calculator, you get 100%. So basically, these answers are the correct values for the percent composition of each element that makes up KClO3. Now, this is how to determine the percent composition of a particular element of a given compound. Now, don't forget to subscribe to Chemistry Made Easy.